How's it going guys? It is 3.23 a.m. Wednesday, July 20th here in Japan, and we have an extremely fucking annoying math question for genetics, Hardy Weinberg type stuff, okay? Now, ordinarily, for the sake of the YouTube, I wouldn't venture into this type of question, but two points. One, nearly identical question shows up on one of the NBME exams for step one. In fact, there are tons of these Hardy Weinberg questions on the NBMEs. Second point is I've received numerous requests to make one of these questions for the YouTube. Okay, I'll keep this real clean and concise. So before we get started, please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now let's start the clip. An AR disease in the population has a disease frequency of 1 over 1,600. A deletion of a tryptophan is responsible for 80% of mutant alleles. A deletion of a tryptophan, fuck. A deletion of a tyrosine is responsible for 20% of mutant alleles. Which of the following is the approximate fraction of carriers for this disease who carry deletion of tryptophan? Okay, now look, most of you who are viewing this clip have no idea where to fucking start, but I'm gonna keep this real clean and simple. All right, I'll tell you exactly what you need to know. When you get a question such as this on the USMLE, they're often going to give you the disease frequency. 1 over 1,600, 1 over 10,000, 1 over 40,000, whatever it is, and you're not sure where to start. Well, you need to know Hardy-Weinberg equation. 1 equals P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared. Extremely confusing. Just relax for a second. 1 equals P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared. All right? P is supposed to be the wild type allele with no disease. Q is your diseased allele. When you get one of these questions, this is what you're going to do. The disease frequency is equal to Q squared, all right? And you're going to notice conveniently that you're going to be able to take an even square root of this. 1 over 1600, that's just 1 over 40. So one over so, so Q squared is 1 over 1600, our disease frequency. We say, okay, well, Q is 1 over 40. They want to know the carrier frequency oftentimes in questions. You're going to set P equal to 1 almost always. Okay, just P equals one, that's what you need to know. So we've taken this disease frequency of uh, Q squared, one over 1600, we now have Q, one over 40, and we have two PQ as our carrier frequency, two times one is two, so two times P, okay, is two, times Q, one over 40, that's two over 40 or one over 20. Okay, that's our carrier frequency, but we're not done yet. If they had asked us for just what's the carrier frequency in the population, the answer would have been one over 20. Okay, but we're not done. They want to know uh, which of these is referring to the tryptophan allele, okay, in terms of the deletion. And that's going to be 80%. So we have one over 20 times 80%. So one over 20 times four over five, that's four over 100 which simplifies as 1 over 25 as our answer. Now look, as I prefaced with, these types of annoying math questions for the sake of YouTube, okay, can get very fucking confusing very fucking fast. But I just want to clean this up and articulate that when you get one of these Hardy-Weinberg questions on your USMLE, you're going to notice, you know, if they had said 1 over 10,000, we would just have, that would be our Q squared, and we would have 1 over 100 as our Q. And then our carrier frequency would just be 2PQ, 1 over 50. Okay, and the question often ends there. But there is a Q on one of the uh, step one NBME exams. I believe it's actually offline NBME 20 and nearly identical question where they divide up the carrier frequency into percentages like this and you just have an extra step. You know the deal, Nick, to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.